Welcome everyone to uh, today's broadcast um, to 10 questions with Jamie, getting to know the members of Asbury. Uh, today we have uh, Tim Wilton uh, sitting down with us to go over some of his answers. Uh, and uh, I would like to introduce Tim to you now. Welcome to the broadcast, Tim. Thanks for having me. Yeah, our pleasure. Appreciate it. Yeah. Well, uh, we're going to start ahead with our questions here and um, just answer with the best question or the best answer that you have, Tim. So first question awesome. is, where were you born? Uh, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Um, but I, I consider own sound my hometown. That's where all my family was is and uh, where I grew up. Awesome. Okay. And uh, so uh, moving on to the next question, what is your favorite type of music, Tim? Uh, I don't really actually know if I have a favorite type, but I, I like everything or like a lot of things, I guess. Um, do I do listen to a lot of praise music, but if we're going to pick one, probably some, anything from the 80s. Okay, yeah, uh, that's cool. I'm, I'm an 80s child and uh, that's probably my favorite uh, era as well, uh, so I can relate to that. Um, awesome. Going back to uh, going back down memory lane, uh, brings us to our next question. What is one of your favorite childhood memories that you're willing to share with us today? Just, just one. Um, I, I grew up with two brothers, so we were pretty active. So there's definitely lots of, lots of memories, but um, one that probably comes to mind, um, you know, I, I think having two brothers, I just had a mother that kind of treated us all equally. She just made a point to make sure that we were all kind of equally loved, but uh she did make a point, um, and I don't know how often it happened, but I don't really remember how often it happened, but she did make a point to um, set aside time for us individually. So there was always kind of a mom Tim night or a mom Brad night or mom Jeff night. And uh, I always look forward to that, whether that was just kind of going out to dinner with mom or whatever activity that was, but it was just a special time kind of with my mom and myself and uh, she would just, she just always made a point to have, uh, have that time with each of us. Oh, that's special. That's, uh, you know, those are the moments that you can't put a price tag on Tim. And, uh, yeah, I don't, uh, uh I definitely would consider that a very good childhood memory for sure. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, um, on to, moving on to our next question. Do you prefer fiction or nonfiction? Uh, now that can fall into a books category, it can movies, uh, whichever, uh, relates best to you, Tim. I'm going to say nonfiction for books. I do. I, do, I read a, a lot of books, so I, I definitely prefer nonfiction. I think I've read one fiction book in the last two years, but uh, but I think when it comes to movies, I would probably go more fiction and movies on the screen. So yeah, that's, that's interesting. Now, would you have uh, off the top of your head, would you have a favorite book and a favorite movie that you uh, would tie into those? Um, I read a lot of books. I, I probably read over 60 books this past year. So number of favorites, but I, I, I go more on topics. Um, I, I read a lot of things in kind of human behavior, sales. I love negotiation, anything just around learning. Um, my favorite movie, I would probably say Gladiator. Nice. With Ru Russell Crowe. Yeah. Yeah. Very good one. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Sure, I've seen it four, five, six times. It's yeah. it's awesome. I'm sure we all have those movies where we just hit um, hit play and then rewind and then play and then rewind, right? So, yeah. Uh, oh, good. Um, next question I have for you, Tim, is uh, what did you want to be uh, when you were a small child growing up? Was there was there any one thing that really said I I would like to do this when I'm older? I think it, I, again, I one of those things that probably changed over time as a kid. But uh, I remember my my brother Brad and I wanted to be stuntmen in the movies. The guys in the back, uh, the back, uh, just doing all the cool stuff. Uh, you know, I remember <laughs> I remember talking about that as a kid. But uh, I think there was a time I wanted to be a writer, just write books. Um, and I think uh, I don't know, maybe you and me both, Jamie, wanted to grow up and be uh, NHL hockey players too. So uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, you know, that, that, that would be typical for most uh, Canadian boys, I think, uh, especially in the 80s and 90s and, you know, um, having that as, uh, as a dream, I guess, right? So, Absolutely. Uh, and it's interesting, you know, how um, that can change over time, too, from, you know, 
being stuntman to writing, which, you know, on the line, there would be a bit of a contrast there, but it just shows you how unique we can be and how we can change over time, um, just um, over our wants and desires, for sure. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I didn't go the stuntman route too. So, yeah, yeah, I, I didn't. Get, I did get did get into hockey. I did uh, work in hockey, but uh, yeah. that just wasn't on the ice. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It, just to touch on that, you did work with the Ottawa Senators organization for quite some time too, right? Yeah. So I guess somewhat of a dream fulfilled. So I spent nine nine seasons with the Sens, but uh, got to the NHL. It just wasn't, uh, I guess, in the role that I imagined as a child. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty cool, yeah. All very important parts, though, to make the, the whole machine move, if you will, right? So, no, good for you. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. Uh, our next question is, um, if you could choose to do anything for a day, Tim, what would it be? Uh, it's tough. Um, I, I like to travel, so I was going to pick something to do, say, tomorrow. I'd be traveling maybe overseas, uh, I'm not much to sit on the beach or kind of sit and relax. I, I, I enjoy history and uh, culture. So maybe over in Europe somewhere. Um, my wife's family's from, uh, most of them are from Denmark. I've been over to Denmark a couple of times. Uh, so I'd probably pick Denmark because I just, I enjoy hanging out with uh, the Danish family, family there. So. Hey, traveling is not a bad thing. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that if they could uh, cut away some time from their daily grind, they would, uh, I'm sure they would choose somewhere in the world to travel for a while. So yeah, I can see that for sure. Um, now moving on to the next couple questions here, Tim, we are going to move towards some a little more biblical questions here. And in uh, one uh, first one here is what is your favorite Bible verse? Um, Proverbs four twenty three. Okay. You know that one, you know it. Uh, I don't have it off the top of my head. Um, <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> I, I can tell you that Proverbs is one of my, um, I, I really enjoy reading that. And, I, and that's one that I uh, read over and over again. But if you want to share gotcha. it with the group, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just joking. A guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Yeah. I think um, I, I think for me, it's just kind of the heart issue is um, just a thread that's kind of traced throughout the whole Bible, you know, the heart and mind, just how the heart and mind are just so interconnected and how that ties into our emotions. And I just I think it's just so important to know kind of what we're feeding our heart in life. So uh, just something that kind of that's always stuck with me, Jamie. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And everything comes from the heart too, right? So um, absolutely. Yeah. Good, good verse to, to choose, Tim. Um, our next one, uh, and this was, um, this was a, a pretty good question, I thought, it, it, it is what or who had the biggest impact on you and your Christian journey? I can only tell you one or? Well, for this, we, we can always come back to you and do another interview. Maybe. Yeah, I just joking. Uh, there's, I, I, there's been a ton of people actually throughout my life. Uh, you know, definitely um, Ivan Jackson. I just the last five years of my life. Uh, um, he was my he was my doctor growing up, so we ha we have a history. But um, you know, I've been in Lanark County for five years, and uh, he's just. Uh, just been such an amazing friend and uh, just I, I we both we learn from each other but uh, I just enjoy enjoy him and he's just been a, a big impact on my 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 continued walk with uh, with Christ yes yeah absolutely you know and I can relate to that Dr. Jackson's been a, a great impact on my journey as well and I do have a long list but he's certainly on there there's no question about it so uh, no question there why you would choose him so that's great um, Onto our next question here, uh, other than Jesus, so of course Jesus would be the one that we would all choose here in this one. But from the Bible, who would you want to spend a day with? Um, Solomon, actually, I think uh, he's the wisest man ever to live. Um, I enjoy a good conversation. I just think it'd be pretty cool to hang out with him and chat with him for a while. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I'm sure there wouldn't be too uh, many dull moments during that 24-hour period. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure he wrote Proverbs or most of that, anyways. So yeah, yeah. yeah. well, he's he's definitely uh, you know 
according to the Bible, is definitely an inter in interesting character uh, of the Bible. Yeah. Question there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now we're moving on to our final question here. Um, and uh, this one I, I, I'm interested to hear is what encouraging message would you like to pass on to the congregation, uh, Tim, if you, if you had one? Um, I think uh, just start and finish your day with uh, the Bible, uh, his word. Um, I, I, I like Rick Warren's quote, uh, you know, the Bible is the book that tells you that your life is not an accident, you know, so, you know, God designed you purposely and, uh, but he also designed you for a purpose. So uh, I just think it's just sticking in, in his word and, uh, and a good way of doing that is just starting your day and finishing your day with it. Yeah, and that's a great message, and uh, nobody can go wrong with that uh, a little bit of advice, Tim. And uh, that was that, that was a great uh, question Q and A. Uh, I appreciate your time, uh, Tim. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the congregation is going to be very interested in in uh, listening into your answers and getting to know Tim Wilton a little bit better. Um, yeah, so, appreciate the time. Yeah, I'd like to thank you once again, and uh, I'd like to thank everyone else um, that tuned into the broadcast, and uh, we. Uh, hope to get another one of these out um, the following week and uh, slowly but surely we'll get to know uh, our members at Asbury a little better uh, by the end of all this. Until then, take care. Thanks, brother. Thank you.